How we're going to do that, which is very fascinating, is um, we're going to build the first level, the plaza level, first. Um, so it's not your normal basement construction where we go all the way down to the bottom and come back out again. We're going to put in, install the first level, which includes the lobby of the building, the sort of tension ring that supports the, the massive seven columns that come down. But in addition, we have to also have to build the substructure that holds up the, the fountains, the planted areas. This is going to be beautiful uh, landscaped uh, and, and paved plaza with, with uh, lots of trees. And all of that substructure is the first thing that goes in, which is usual. Normally, it would be the last thing you know, coming out of a, out of a car park. Um, we're going to put that in. And then we're going to go down below that level and mine out the level below that to create a level surface. We'll pour another slab. Uh, then we'll go down below that one and mine it out. And we'll keep doing that uh, for seven levels until we get down all the way to the bottom. And then we will uh, pour a slab and we'll be done. The core is concrete. Uh, and at the base, very thick concrete. It's about six and a half feet thick. Starting at way down deep in the, you know, sort of 70 feet down, we're going to pour a, um, a circular mat foundation to, to tie all these uh, caissons together. And after that's poured, we can then begin our core wall, the concrete core wall. And um, it's very common in uh, construction today to use something called a jump form. A jump form uh, comes from the term that you pour, in a sense, a whole floor of concrete. And then it climbs up to the next floor, or jumps up to the next floor, and you erect the reinforcement and pour another floor, and, and so on. By the time we get it up through the ground, we hope to have the, the foundations and the beginnings of the seven columns. And then as the core arises up above the fifth floor, the steel framing then can commence. The structural frame is radial steel beams, steel columns, and a metal deck and a perimeter system to pick up the changing geometry. There's a lot of complexity in foundations. There's a lot of complexity in the base of any high-rise building. And so uh, the sooner we can get to sort of a, a standard level of framing and move up from there, uh, the faster the cycle can be achieved. And in a high-rise building, construction cycle is extremely important. In a tall building, there are a whole host of reasons why it's not just a simple cantilever. There are structural reasons why you need what is generally referred to as a transition floor. Every 30, 40 floors, there will generally be a transition floor. And that serves a structural reason because you stiffen the building at that point. The actual structural frame is an extension of, um, A, the concrete core wall building, this, this very pragmatic uh, Chicago developer building, which is very common in the sort of 50 stories and lower, which is just the core wall all by itself and steel framing. There's a sort of sequence of constructing the concrete core, erecting steel surrounding it, pouring the floors, fireproofing the steel, putting cladding. It's, it's, all, it's sort of an extrusion of the building process from the ground all the way to 2,000 feet. Building that to a high level of accuracy is crucially important. So we are using prefabricated elements to a accurately defined geometry, and they will be erected in place, and the concrete will be cast directly against that steel steel perimeter form. Because the building is tapering, getting up, you see, you can even much more enjoy this idea of uh, the, uh, the, 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 the beautiful views and uh, the, uh, the, the, let's say, the proximity of all the directions and all the horizons, you see, that, and all the uh, different aspects that this city can deliver from a height that sometimes you see approaching Chicago, you see an aeroplane, you, you can see also how high you are on the ground. The early steel work placing the steel at the ground level that, that creates the sort of um, resistance for the, the tower uh, could commence any time. But in terms of erecting the steel, because the steel connects to the core, um, certainly we have to be at least up, be up above the fifth floor because that's where the first framing that ties into the core. So the core would need to be several, at least several floors above that. We've actually done an extensive logistical study about moving materials around the building and that's one of the key components because we fed that into the design so the design can easily cope with the locations of cranes during construction because in a tall building these are absolutely vital. I think the overall uh, feeling is that people are very excited about it. I mean, the, the structure itself looks pretty awesome and uh, the plaza area and, and development of Gustavo Park 
it's really going to enhance this part of the city. Chicago's always been sort of a can-do city, a place where things happen, a place where there's a lot of energy and a lot of commitment to doing big things. And uh, the Spire is, is a, very much a part of that personality. I have never seen, and I'm not sure I ever will again, a project that would inspire me excuse the pun, to be as excited about anything as the Chicago Spire. I think this will add to that reputation Chicago has for daring buildings, and that people will be very proud of it. The Spire will take its place among one of the classic buildings of the world. It will become an icon of Chicago. You will pick up a postcard in years to come, and the Chicago Spire will be there. It's a lot like a symphony orchestra. It really is. I think that there's no question that Santiago Calatrava is the conductor. Uh, more than conductor, he's also the composer. We are all conscious, you know, that in uh, Shelburne we have a great client who has put in front of us a great goal, and we are delivering the very best of ourselves because this is a unique opportunity in, in our professional life. Mm -hmm.